everyone so in this class we are going to look about azure deployment groups so what do you mean by a deployment group a deployment group is mainly used for a virtual machines so a deployment group cannot be used for any of the platform as a service or software as a service just understand that very clearly deployment groups can be used only for infrastructure as a service okay why are we going to use that is like if suppose you wanted to do any iis server deployment right which is internet information service which is nothing but a web server right what we are going to do is like from a, a git repository we are going to do a ci pipeline and this ci pipeline will be having an asp.net application and the output will be an artifact and this artifact will be a zip file and this you have to get into a cd pipeline from the cd pipeline we have to put that into a respective virtual machine and this virtual machine will have an iis server deployment and under this you will go to www inet pub under root this you will be able to do the zip file deployment and then what happens is like your automatically websites will be deployed so this is a sample dotnet application deployment into an iis web server if it is one web server it's very easy but what happens if it is 20 web servers then you need to do a deployment for this 20 different applications or 20 different virtual machines 20 different times instead of that if we use this deployment groups we can do one group of deployment and this will automatically be deployed into 20 different servers at the same time right that is the reason we use this deployment group so we can try to split it between multiple applications with multiple vms and multiple groups so how do we do that it's it's, it's very easy in azure devops we just need to go to azure devops under this is our project which is import demo under pipelines you will have an option called as deployment groups under deployment groups you just need to create a new deployment group and i'm just giving it an option called as web servers and then click on create so now you will be able to see what kind of servers it is whether it's a windows or a linux servers as i said this can be done only for a virtual machines right and just click on this use a personal access token so what happens is like this will automatically give you a script copy the script to the clipboard and if you see here you should run as an administrator under PowerShell prompt you don't need to do anything at all this script will automatically make that particular virtual mission into your deployment group agent and here if you see the target at present you have zero targets once after you execute the script the mission will automatically become a target and then you can use this target into a cd pipelines so i have created a virtual mission in azure so you can use any of the virtual missions from any cloud and then uh, i just need to go to powershell so i'm just going to powershell and x86 and i'm running as an administrator and then i just copy that uh, script from the azure devops and then i'm just pasting it over here and then simply clicking on run so what happens is like this automatically runs that particular agents and uh, automatically configures that particular mission and it will take five to seven minutes and then it automatically runs everything on its own right so this is what will automatically be done so i just click on this and the personal access token that we have copied in our earlier sessions for self-hosted agents just try to paste it rest of the things it automatically scans and runs on its own like how it automatically does right so just click on yes i'm just clicking on web and testing the agent connections successfully under the agent and then make it as an automatic service connections and done so now if we go back to this targets you can see this particular target right and then here you can just see 
the target is offline right so when you click on this the target seems to be offline so what you have to just do is like we have to make that target online so i'm just going back here and then i'm just trying to make run.cmd command to make the target online so now the target from here offline will automatically become online and thereby we can try to use see here it's healthy now so now this mission is healthy to do the deployments right so this is my deployment group one group i have added so now how can i add this group to my pipelines go to the release pipeline under release pipeline just try to create uh, any new release pipelines and then here choose iis deployment you can see this iis server deployment choose this iis servers and then try to give the name as dev or other environment names and click on here and here you can just see the deployment settings and deployment group is being called and click on this drop down this is the deployment group name and what is the tag that we have given we are given the tag as web choose that particular tag and then here it says multiple deployments at the same time or one target at a time you can choose whatever you want as i said with the help of a deployment group you can do multiple deployments at the same time right and then just try to add these particular respective servers under inet web ww root and then the deployment happens right so this is how i can try to create a deployment group by adding multiple virtual missions in a single group and then add it to my release pipeline so that i can do multiple iis server deployment at a single stretch right i hope you guys have understood it if you face any issues or if you need any clarifications feel free to reach out to me i'll be happy to help you guys across thank you